In my first 10 months selling name brand products on Amazon, I did over a million in revenue and over $100,000 profit, but 99% of beginner Amazon sellers waste time and money without the right blueprint. In this video, I'm going to give you everything you need to know to actually start selling products on Amazon in 2024, a five-step process. How to start your Amazon Seller Central account, how to get ungated as well as auto ungated ASINs, the basics of product analysis, how to actually find winning products to sell. You guys are going to see me find winning products to sell as well as what scaling looks like and some special cheat codes at the end. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Make sure to subscribe for more. Nobody's putting out the volume of free game that I'm putting out on Amazon YouTube in 2024. And let's get right into the video. The first step to start selling on Amazon is going to sell.amazon.com and creating a professional seller account. Now, there's actually two different methods you can do when creating a seller account, a professional account or an individual account. A professional account is going to cost you $40 per month and a, an individual account is going to cost you a dollar per sale. If you're watching this video and you're watching any videos of my channel, you're serious and you should just go straight ahead and get the professional account. It's not worth it. It takes a couple of days to switch over. You obviously can switch over if you do want to, but don't start with an individual account. You lose a lot of special selling privileges you're going to need to make any money with Amazon. So head over to sell.amazon.com and create a professional seller account. A lot of people think you need an LLC to do this. You don't. The cool thing is Amazon doesn't require it. Obviously, I have no idea if an LLC is right for your situation. However, Amazon does not require it, and I think that holds a lot of people back from getting started. So sell.amazon.com, nice and easy, and go ahead and create a seller account. The next step to getting started, step two, is going to be actually getting ungated. So a lot of people don't know about ungating, and people that do aren't really sure how to do it as a complete beginner, so I got you on a full tutorial. So as a new seller, Amazon is going to restrict you from selling some big name brands and categories like Nike, Adidas, Lego, etc. The cool part is it's actually really easy to prove authenticity and show that you're actually buying legit products because Amazon gates new sellers from the stuff because they don't want people selling fakes on their platform. The cool part is that you can buy and get ungated in really any big brand you see other people selling just using big retail website order confirmation emails. So if we go ahead and take a look at my screen here, we can see if you wanted to get ungated in Nike, for example, you could use like Champs, ASOS, Soccer.com, for example, like we can see. All we need to do is go on Champs and find a cheap Nike product like these headbands that's also listed on Amazon here. And then all we need to do is go ahead and buy 10 of these. Then immediately you're going to get an order confirmation email. And that's what you're going to submit to Amazon when you go ahead and try to list the product in their request invoices and email receipts for those. So I just use the order confirmation emails. It used to be a lot harder to get on Gated, but these days it's really, really easy. I recommend naming the file ASIN underscore invoice underscore date completely normal for you to get declined a couple times. And if you want, if you're getting declined a couple times, you can add in extra information to your application, like the delivery email, the picture of the product, uh, the UPS tracking, the tracking number, et cetera, like any, any other information you get from the order that shows Amazon, okay, this person's clearly buying legitimate products. The cool part as well, guys, is there's actually tons of smaller brands that are gonna automatically approve you from the get-go as a complete beginner with auto on gate ASIN. So I actually have a giant list of auto on gate ASINs for you guys right here. If we take a look, we can see tons of different brands right here. Not all of these are going to work, but the cool thing is a lot of these are actually going to just let you automatically start selling them today. Tons of beginners don't know about auto on gate ASINs. So I'll leave a link down below in the description for this auto on gate list. It's completely free. Some super easy ones are like and one Bomba socks are nice and easy. Right, so the cool thing is literally all of you guys watching this video can go get on gated today once you have your seller account open in 100 plus brands like and one bombas the color pop beauty brand and you want to try tons of other ones on this list as well not all of them are going to work there are set instructions on how to go ahead and actually get this done right here on the auto on gate list and the cool thing is the more products you sell the more items become auto on gate as well so it's like a good feedback loop and that as you start getting sales you start getting more and more auto on gate stuff done so after this video make sure to go ahead and get all those auto on gates done all right now we get into the fun part which is actually going to be product analysis so how do you actually analyze whether a product is good and then i'm also going to show you how to actually find winning products to sell so if we take a look here this nike tank top it makes sense that this would do well you've probably seen people wearing this in person if we go ahead and take a look at this product here a few important terms so this right here is the buy box this is where we want to be as sellers this is basically the buy it now option on amazon the cool thing is the buy box rotates to all the different sellers that are priced competitively right here. We can see if we take a look at this listing, there's six different sellers 
on this product. So we can see this listing has 100 reviews here. And now a really important term you guys need to know is sales rank, otherwise known as BSR or best sellers rank. That's how fast a listing sells. So we can see here, there's two Chrome extensions you're going to want to have for this process. The first one is going to be SellerAmp right here, which is our product research tool, which helps you analyze products. And the other one is going to be Keepa down here, K-E-E-P-A. You can get a free trial on our website, selleramp.com. Then I also have full tutorials on both of these on my channel here. But we can see this listing is an 89,000 sales rank. So the lower the sales rank, the better. So like, for example, a 1,000 sales rank sells way better than 100,000 sales rank. As a beginner, you primarily want to stay below like 150,000 sales rank and such. So this listing's fine. We can see it's got about 200 sales per month across all the different sizes and such, but it makes sense that this be a nice common product here. We can also see SellerAmp is going to tell us a bunch of other helpful info like the title of the product. It's going to have the ASIN, otherwise known as the Amazon Standard Identification Number here, as well as the weight of the product, which can come in handy. And then if we wanted to go ahead and look for this product on Google to see where we can find it profitably, we just go ahead and click this in right here. And we can see it's actually over on Dick's Sporting Goods for $9.07. So if we go ahead here, we can see $9.07 on Dick's Sporting Goods. And that's where I like to get a lot of my inventory is just big retail websites like Kohl's, Walmart, and Target. I don't like to buy products from wholesalers because I think that's too expensive and risky for beginners. And then I only buy products that have proven sales history, big name brand stuff. So I don't buy products from China and try to private label them with Alibaba. So we can see SellerAmp is going to help us calculate the exact profit because obviously there's shipping, there's Amazon fees, there's sales tax, there's product cost, everything like that. So plugging in that $9.07 buy cost here, selling at $29, we can see that leaves about $10 profit per sale and a 100% ROI. The big number is going to be the max cost here. So if we go ahead and plug in the max cost here, we can see that puts us about $4.30 profit and a 30% ROI. My minimums are $3 profit per sale and a 30% ROI, and I, I want to stay below a 150,000 sales rank. So obviously paying nine, selling at 29, really nice margin there. We know the listing sells quick currently and is profitable currently. And then Keepa is actually going to show us how profitable this listing over time is. So we can see if you're just getting Keepa, it's probably going to show three different charts here. I'd recommend clicking sub ranks right here to take out that middle chart. It's pretty much useless. Cool thing, guys, is Keepa is going to show us how a product has performed since it was added on Amazon. So we can see this listing literally 551 days here. Uh, what I'm specifically looking at is the bottom chart is showing the competition and the top chart is showing the demand with the sales rank here in green, as well as the price action with the buy box price in the pink line and the changes in lowest third party seller with the orange triangles. Orange triangles don't necessarily represent sales, but they do show the more orange triangles, the more a listing is selling here. As a beginner, you primarily want to focus on the three-month data and make sure that the bottom chart, the competition, otherwise known as the new offer count, is either going down or stable. We can see this listing, it's nicely trending down. In February, it had like 14 sellers. It currently has about six sellers right here. And that the price is either stable or going up. We can see the price on this listing has been hanging out right around like 28. Now it's a little bit higher, closer to 29. Because the competition is going down, it might continue going up. And the cool thing is there's actually going to be a bunch of different colors and sizes here as well that also might make sense. So I'm going to go ahead and click variations here on Keepa. And now I can go ahead and see how all these different variations are performing and specifically how fast they're selling by taking a look at the offer count movement in these graphs right here because each specific variation is going to have its own Keepa chart, right? So for product analysis, the big thing you need to make sure is that other people are selling it, which mostly helps validate that it's reseller friendly, that the sales rank is low, and then, then you're going to go ahead and look for this item profit like I did just Googling the product with SellerAmp here, right? There's some other data that's helpful on SellerAmp, like we can see a mini Keepa chart right here, profit calculator for merchant fulfilled, as well as FBA. We can take a look at, but primarily just worry about the FBM, FBA numbers for now. Right. And what I also want to do is I want to use this listing to go ahead and find other winning products. And what we're going to do is call the storefront stalking method to do that. So scrolling down here, we can go to one of these listings that has a lot of uh, other sellers. So we can filter right here and see, okay, 18 sellers on this specific one right here. So we can go ahead and click this open. Right. And now we're going to use the storefront stalking method and actually take a look inside the storefronts of other sellers that are selling this product 
to find other winning products. So we can see, we want to find people that we know are making money that have lots of reviews, right? So for example, like 203 reviews right here, we know that person's making a good amount of profit here. 320 reviews, we know they're making a lot of profit here. 137. Right. So you can see if someone has a lot of reviews, you know, they're making a decent amount of money here. Right. So you can just go ahead and open up these listings and go ahead and take a look at exactly what they're selling in their storefronts and such. Right. So now taking a look inside these seller storefronts, we can see all the different brands they're carrying, all the different categories they're carrying. Right. As well as we can scroll through and qualify their winning products fast to take a look at the sales rank to see what's selling quick as well as the Keepa chart to make sure that prices aren't shooting down, that they're either stable or going up. You can also filter into specific brands here as well. So say we wanted to take a look at like some Puma listings, for example, we go ahead and take a look at these and such, right? Or say we wanted to take a look at, you know, Nike listings, for example, right? We'd see uh, 13K rank looks pretty good. We'll take a look, right? 19K rank looks pretty good. We'll take a look and such right here. So we can see opening up all these different listings that we know are getting sales, we can now dial in and see what we can find properly. So I like to filter into specific brands when I'm doing this stuff, guys, and such. Some people just scroll through the storefronts. But once you get some reps and you'll have good context on what good listings look like and really eat up all these different sellers and see exactly what they're selling, then go ahead and, and dial in on stuff. Like, for example, I found a lot of Yankee Candle listings properly and such as of late, right? So now coming to these listings, guys, we can take a look at the Keepa and see, okay, price is nice and stable on this product over time. It's going for right around 99 bucks. So you want to pick it up right in the $50 range. So let's go ahead and take a look right here. Okay, Court Legacy. Uh, we want the women's ones. Um, I can see women's ones. We can play 56 on Nike.com right here. I think that's, yeah, I think it's a little different right here. Um, this definitely does look like a good deal though. We can take a look. Might even take a look at those men's ones at 52 on Kohl's as well. Right, and then all we do from here is once we find winning procs, we'll show you guys how to do, we'd go ahead and send them off to the Amazon FBA warehouse or just sell them via merchant fulfilled. The cool thing is the ship of the Amazon process is really easy. You guys can just watch some uh, YouTube videos on how to get that going. Cool thing is you only got to learn that once and such. Okay, 76 isn't going to cut it, so we're not going to worry about those here. Let's see, women's core vision shoes. Um, we see competitions trending up a little bit on these, so I might go in and take a look at the variations. Cool thing is listings that have all their colors and sizes, you're going to see tons of examples of different variations you can go ahead and sell. Right, so we can see if we go ahead and multiply or uh, filter by buy box price top to bottom and look for good movement. Here we can see these red ones have nice oscillation of offer count right here, and they're a hundred bucks. Um, and they've only been around for 250 days, so it makes sense that why they might not have any reviews here. So we can see, I could see myself being able to pay 50 bucks for these. We can see, yeah, nice and stable here, guys. Right, so I'm um, immediately seeing on Keepa, nice and stable. Let's see, can we go ahead and pay 50 bucks for these white red? Okay, so these are 60 bucks on Kohl's, these women's ones. These are definitely not the right product though, unfortunately. We want just white, standard white red here. We can see those are different. Yeah, okay, not seeing any specifics, unfortunately, right here. So let's keep rolling. No problem. Let's see. These, uh, oh, these are beautifully stable here. Let's see. Okay, cool. All right, so do you want to pay like in the 30 range for these? Wow, some of these are expensive. I checked that out. A black red seven, six reviews, decent off gown oscillations at 97 bucks. I feel like I could pay 40 or 50 bucks for these. Yeah, look at that. Beautifully stable and, and has been expensive for a while here. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Okay, size seven here. Ah, okay. So size seven is currently out of stock here. Um, it definitely is nice and profitable. What I would do in this case is I would one click export this out to a seller amp out of stock Google Sheet. And then this just automatically export this product to a Google Sheet. I would go ahead and put a link here and then I might check that once a week for restocks as well here. Okay, let's see these duffel bags. We're trying to pay like, 26 bucks for let's see what we got here okay 37 so obviously there's lots of different ways to coupon these websites but i don't think we'll be at like 38 percent off um right there so that's not going to make that listing good let's see these puma slides ranks a little bit high on these it's 150k but if we take a look we can see nice oscillation on the offer count here and the price is nice and steady so we know people are making money on these even if the sales ranks a little high so there's obviously not specific rules on everything Okay, I'm not seeing these black ones with the straps here. Yeah, 28, that definitely doesn't work. I think though, right here, let's see. Okay, yeah, black women's slides. Okay, so let's see. Because they're going for 11 right here on the Puma website. Let's see, so we can go here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, okay, cool. So 16 and then minus 30%, so we're paying like 11 bucks here. 
So let's see if we go ahead here, we can see $30 buy call or $30 sale price here, 43 reviews, and then we can pick it up for $11 on the Puma website. Puma website glitches occasionally when I check out on there. I just do Safari, as we can see right here, but they're in stock. Like I've, I've bought other SKUs of this recently. So if we plug this in, we could see this was $15.99 on the website, $15.99, and then we want to go ahead and take off 30% from here. So you can actually do math within Celerant and go ahead and multiply by 0.7 here. And now we have $8 profit and a 70% ROI. And we know this listing sells well because it's a common color. It's a good BSR and the listing has a bunch of reviews. And now we just need to validate that that's the case over time, take a look at the keep it chart. So like I said, you want to focus on the 90 day data primarily as a beginner. We can see price is nice and stable. We've been profitable for a while. We have decent oscillation in the off count, that bottom chart on Keepa. So we know that this listing actually sells well. And that's the name of the game with online arbitrage, guys. We take a look, okay, look at what other people are selling, find their fast selling listings, then go ahead and make those items profitable. It's a really important thing to understand that very few items are just going to be profitable at the advertised price. You're going to make a lot of the items that you find profitable, profitable. And how do I actually go ahead and do that through different discount mechanisms? So here's exactly what I mean. So these are the big cheat codes that are necessary for scaling and actually finding lots of winning products. Because the cool thing is step five is literally just scaling up your business and finding more products and finding more discounts. And then that lets you expand your catalog. Because the cool thing is with all in arbitrage, we don't just sell one product. We sell tons of different products in our storefront, like we saw with those other sellers here. So by far, the number one mistake beginners make is expecting items to be profitable at the advertised price. You don't find stuff good, you make it good. Using these 12 different methods here are going to be ways to get inventory cheaper. So like all the free coupon extensions, Capital One Shopping, Be Frugal, Retail Me Not, Coupon Birds, Top Cash Back, Rakuten, those are all free. You want to have all those, right? Evergreen email account and text signup coupons, which you can use a catch all email and text now and Google voice for. You also just see those pop up from time to time too. digging for coupons on Google. Like we just saw that Puma coupon showed on Google asking customer service and then networking with other Amazon sellers is huge as well. You can also stack on discounted gift cards on Carbear and top cash back are really helpful. Those are discounted gift card providers. You can uh, load up your profit margins with you always want to check out their account on different websites. So that you, way you can take advantage of rewards programs like Kohl's Cash are really helpful. You can use a tax exempt certificate, like a resource certificate for retail arbitrage and wholesale and occasionally online arbitrage. Getting on listings quick as a merchant fulfilled seller is a really good moat you can build as well. Holiday sales, Easter's coming up next week that I think like the Puma uh, Easter sale was already going on as well, right? Those are great as well as stacking different opportunities together. Like for example, the Rack Room Shoes website, you can actually stack two different coupons. They have a buy one, get one 50% off and they have a 20 off 99 plus. You can stack those together, right? Keeping organized Google Sheets in Selleramp, like I mentioned, is really helpful. I'd recommend having at minimum uh, purchase leads, almost good out of stock, Q4 and back to school. And then you'll probably end up having specific sheets for all your favorite websites too. Also, just smart repricing, pricing of the above the buy box, eventually using a repricing software. I've tutorialed that on my channel too. And also using a sales tax reprep center. And then overall, just track which, which websites allow you to use which discounts. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to take a look at this moat sheet as well here too. And then if you guys are looking for further formal help directly with me and you want direct one-on-one -on -one daily support with myself, you'll have my personal phone number in my coaching program. We also have three group coaching calls a week. You'll have a one-on-one -on -one live sourcing call with myself and you'll just overall be around other Amazon sellers that are working on this stuff every day and be encouraged to, you know, really interact and grow and have daily support from me. So this is my full mentorship program. If you're interested in this, obviously it's expensive. It takes a lot of work. I'm going to leave the application link down below. If you're a new seller or just really looking to scale up, I've helped a ton of people get great results with this. We can see some of our best student results here. We can see some, I have some other videos on my channel here too. Take a look, we can see a bunch of different results here and such too. So take a look at the website, watch our uh, intro video here. If you're interested, you can go ahead and apply so you can remember my team and such. If you want daily support from me, all my coupons, tips, tricks, strategies, a one-on-one -on -one live sourcing call for myself and three group coaching calls a week. Regardless, hope this video was helpful, guys. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Make sure to subscribe for more. Take a look at my full ungating tutorial right here and my full free course right here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.